hair is looking a little bit crazier than it felt. Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well and having a wonderful week so far, depending on whatever day this vlog goes live. But we are in New York City again. We got back this morning and have been working from home today. I have kind of just been mentally preparing myself over the past couple of days to start packing because I don't know how it's possible, but we are in the first week of July and we move on the 25th. So yeah, just trying to like get all the ducks in a row. I want to start packing as soon as I possibly can without living in chaos for too long. I ordered boxes. I ordered these kind of like packing things because the ones that I ordered last time or two moves ago are so tiny and they were more so for like storage and they look like packing cubes basically and I'm like that's not going to be practical and then we still have ones that we kept downstairs in our storage locker that I saved from our last move because I didn't want to like some of the boxes were basically like from point A to point B they looked like they were untouched so I broke them down and just kept them so we'll reuse those for this upcoming move so i'm very excited but i know that it's a big job but anyway welcome back to the channel you guys my name is jennifer anyone who is new here and i live in new york city i work in fashion as my nine to five job so i did grab some packages from when i was away we were gone from thursday to today i'm going to start with the most wonderful one so the company is called melina and they make the most stunning pieces ever for summer i've actually only been introduced to their brand this season so i don't know what their like winter like fall winter style is like but i picked a couple of things from them first of all we have a tote i love when brands include a tote especially ones that are really cute like the quality is really great um and then we have a couple of dresses um one of them i saw on chloe rose who i follow on instagram and youtube and everywhere and she looked stunning in this so it's a one shoulder dress and it's in this really light blue color. It has these ruffles going down the front. It's just like a little mini dress, which I thought was so cute and kind of has like a little bit of like a drama aspect to it. I'm just gonna bring you guys down a little. Really cute. I thought the color was absolutely stunning. And with the ruffles, I feel like it just has a little bit of drama with it, but would be perfect for like a cocktail themed wedding or cocktail attire wedding. But I saw it on her and fell in love. She did like an updo with it and it looked really pretty, especially with like a tan for summer. So I chose this one. And then she was also wearing another one most recently in Mykonos when she was um, in Greece for a trip. And we have a wedding coming up in Greece. I think I've mentioned it like five times on here already, but if you guys are new, um, we have friends that are getting married in Greece in the end of August and the night before, like the welcome party is a white party. And I saw this dress and thought that it would look so perfect for the occasion so it's gonna be cocktail attire which this might be a little fancy for a cocktail attire but it's better to be overdressed than underdressed and i just fell in love with the pattern and i think it's gonna look perfect for a white party but like with a little bit of a twist so i mean let me know your guys thoughts on these if it's a white party do we think that this is white enough because the base of it is completely like this nice creamy color and then it has these coral details on it it's floor length and kind of like a cowl neck style on the front and then it comes with this little sash that you could put like around your neck like it styles around your neck and down the back and i just thought that that was so stunning and goes on theme but also looks very grecian at the same time so let me know your guys thoughts okay the next thing is a bit of a fail which i had seen this top on i think her name's hallie i'm not positive but um she films like a outfit of the night like going out outfit and she had this yellow top on but i just took it out of the package and this is what it looks like it's not like i mean no it's pretty bad it's like really wrinkly the material is so thin and i kind of liked that about it that it was very drapey but i feel like if i sit down at dinner like even the light is not really showing the wrinkles that well but all of these wrinkles like i felt like this is a testament to the material not necessarily of the packaging um, and I really loved the color. It's like this very, very pale yellow. Almost looks like very creamy. I thought it was going to be a little bit more yellow looking, but it's just too wrinkly. And I feel like it's because of the material. And I just don't understand how a top, like, like I'll be fully honest with you guys. I bought this when I saw it and I had a couple cocktails on me. <laughs> and it was $168. Like, yes, out of pocket for me. Like, what am I doing? I'm moving. I need to save my money. So it's fine because I am not going to keep this, but... 
I just can't believe that this is being sold for that much money where I see something like of a different brand that is such a better like quality that is not this expensive. So I don't really understand where they're coming from with this, but we're not gonna keep it because that was a big fail. It literally feels like it's from Forever 21. So I'm really sorry to like say something super negative like that, but when it like presents itself that way, I feel like, I don't know, I just have to be honest. And then the last thing is just a few products from YSL. So I have on the lip plumper right now, which was a little tingly when I first put it on, but now it kind of settled and it just looks like a nice like neutral colored chapstick which i actually really like having products like that like i included one of these in the giveaway box by the way i did choose the giveaway winner i'm not going to post the um person's handle on the screen just for like privacy reasons but the winner has been chosen and i absolutely want to do a giveaway again so stay tuned for that we'll definitely have one soon on my channel especially Probably after I move and I get overwhelmed with all the stuff I have, we're gonna have a whole another box. So it was like skincare, hair care, um, just like beauty and like fun little things like that. Little like makeup cases and stuff that I just had extra of. Um, but we also have a concealer from them. This is a Touche Clot, which I have one of these that I think I haven't finished yet. So we'll move on to that one next. And then this is their Hyper Bronze. So this is the bronzer, which the packaging on these items is always so stunning, but I absolutely love this like cool toned color that they do. I have the shade three, so this is Golden Medina. Nice and cool tone there. And then I just have a lip product, which looks a little bit too beige for me, so we'll try it on and see how it works. Oopsie. <laughs> Hi. What did you drop that was really loud? This? I don't know why it's like hot in this apartment, probably from me talking so much. Already starting this vlog off with a huge monologue, but we're gonna leave in a little bit once the workday is over to go to Trader Joe's, which is gonna be an awful decision on a Monday after a weekend to go to Trader Joe's after work, but we have no food. I had to eat like a frozen burrito for our lunch when I'm supposed to be on like a healthy kick. So um, that wasn't my favorite thing to start off the week with because I had like a healthy breakfast, I would say. We just need to get more food. So we're gonna head off to Trader Joe's in a little bit and just keep on with the work day and catching up until then. Okay, before I leave you guys, I need to check in with my work outfit of the day. I actually need to double check to see if these are still available, but I think they are. This is a white, I feel like this is on backwards. Nope, we're good. Um, <laughs> This is a white sweat set from rumored the shorts are honestly like a really good length but i sized up to a medium but it's basically just a white crew neck with the matching sweat shorts if they don't sell this anymore i can definitely like the aritzia one because it's so similar except for the shorts are maybe like an inch longer which are like super nice and comfy i have them in the light gray color um but i love white sweats for the summer i feel like it's so fun and the sweat shorts are really nice to have so that you're like cozy but not overheating and then my earrings are little gold ribbed i got my hair so frizzy <laughs> these are a gold ribbed pair from shabella nyc and then i just have on some like minimal makeup i did say beauty blush my what's it called mascara l'oreal mascara hourglass um concealer and then my eyebrows are benefit which i'm loving this product every single day so i'm so thankful that Gabby had recommended it because my eyebrows don't do that whole like splitting thing anymore because it's really starting to bother me. So this is the cozy little Monday work from home outfit. Mmm, I smell like Fritos.
lot of them one like reached out and was like, do you want free drink? Counting down, please. This crew. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> Morning guys, happy Wednesday. Happy 6.46 in the morning. I'm about to slick my hair. I'm realizing I forgot my hair oil, so I have to grab that. Um, I just made myself some breakfast. Polly and I got up at six this morning and did our workouts. I had a 20 minute workout with form and I was like, oh, it's only 20 minutes. I'll just do it before shooting, which this is the first time that I've ever worked out before shooting, I think. However, we are up in Adam, and I just made myself a breakfast bowl here. We did vanilla yogurt, granola, peanut butter, and half of a banana, which this looks delicious, so I just need to take a quick bite. If any of you guys are obsessed with peanut butter as much as I am, let me know. But I don't really know what's happening with the part. I just know that my hair is greasy, and we're doing a slick bun today. I'm going to the Hungry Ghost this morning, which is lovely for me because it's like an eight minute journey from my apartment, which is always great to see. Um, we're gonna meet Sammy and Hathel, and I think that's it. We have a very small crew this morning. So yeah, changing up the location a little bit. We're gonna be in Tribeca today, which I'm excited about because I haven't brought you guys there since we went to Rigger Hill a couple of vlogs ago. Um, by the way, I just put in like four pumps of the Nexus Repair and Nourish hair oil and then I'm going to use their slick stick to do my slicking for today. I worked with them on Instagram and like as I was filming the videos, I had tried some of the products, but the slick stick for example, I only saw videos of it of people saying like it's so comfortable, it doesn't pull on your hair. And that's the reason why I haven't gotten a slick stick in the past, like that one that everyone was using from Amazon. It looked like it was literally like pulling their faces off of their heads <laughs> when they went to slick it back and also probably their hair. Not that a slick bun is ever good for your hair, it's just like it looked really harsh and I was like, don't really want that for myself. So I skipped the slick stick trend and only used like a pomade and now this one, since I used it, I was like, oh, it actually glides onto your hair. I would say that this isn't as strong as the pattern gel that I have, so sometimes I'll use that underneath the hair if I needed some extra slick. But honestly, in pictures and in person, who cares if there's like one piece missing? I'm literally the only person that cares. So, you know, and I'm like pretty particular when it comes to my slick bun. So I'm like, we might as well save the hair if we don't care. Like Dr. Seuss this morning. This was a dramatic amount of hair to leave down in front. I think we're gonna have the bun sit here. So now we're just gonna comb back. my lunch break the sun is really shining right now it's a good thing I'm wearing sunscreen underneath my makeup but I just walked 20 minutes to a store that was supposed to have a product that I needed to film for like a stories partnership and it was a smaller location for that company and they were like yeah we just don't we don't carry that here and I was like, oh, perfect. So instead I'm gonna go down to the Soho location later today. I hope you guys can hear me, it's very loud. And we're gonna film it then. So I got myself pizza as a reward. My feet got so swollen on the journey and now my shoes are like rubbing and probably giving me blisters in places I've never had blisters before, but it's fine. <laughs> we are almost back to the office and we are going to enjoy our pizza treat.
weekly vlog. <laughs> Last day of the weekly vlog, everyone. We are sitting here with Bella outside of Sony. Is it Sonia Toscano? Sonia. Sonia Toscano. I came here. The Tuscan dream. We had an iced coffee in a wine glass. They do these here. But not a ton of ice. Bella had a little... Um, a little <laughs> our little shot glasses. Just kidding. This is water. Um, but Bella got orange juice and then we got little sandwiches. I actually have mine wrapped right here. We're going to take these home. Little snack bags for the road. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... So we had a really nice morning. Stopped over at Fellini, which is, oh, got those random people in the video, so we'll <laughs> cut that out. Um, but Fellini's right behind us. We're across the street from it. We met there because um, we were originally gonna meet at Saint Jardim, but she was closed, because <laughs> it's July 4th, by the way. Happy Independence Day to all the Americans that watch my videos. <laughs> um, Exactly, we thought everything was going to be open, we're like, it's the restaurant industry, they have to be, and they just weren't. So we came here instead, but it was lovely, and now I'm headed home to New Jersey for the night, into tomorrow, and maybe into Saturday, but we're not totally sure. Um, so I needed to end off the vlog, because end of the week. Also, randomly went to a Yankees game impulsively last night, so you guys saw clips from that. Um, it wasn't planned, that's why I didn't tell you about it, and yeah, so... Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.